and we're rolling! Hello, this is FD from Rolling with FD. And I want to tell you about the 5,000 subscriber contest. If you can help us get to 5,000 subscribers, we have something for you. First, subscribe to the channel. And when you subscribe, you make yourself eligible for the contest. After you subscribe, leave your favorite player or players in the comments and let us know who those players are. And once you subscribe and leave your favorite players, you're eligible for the contest. First place for those who win, you'll get a card or cards of your favorite players listed up to $1,000. Second place, the second place winner will receive one card or cards of your favorite players listed up to $250. And for third place, there will be five winners. Each winner will receive one piece of Rolling With FD merch and one lucky winner of those five will receive two pieces of Rolling With FD merch. Please remember to enter the contest, you first need to subscribe and second, you need to leave your favorite player or players in the comments. Once you do both, you have entered the Rolling With FD Road to 5,000 subscriber contest. Help us get there. We really want to, but we know we can't do it without your help. Thank you. Hey, what's up everybody? This is FD from Roll with FD. And I want to do something quite different today. The season just ended. Just today, week 18 of the NFL season ended. There are some teams going to the playoffs. There are some teams going home. So I thought this is the best time to look at what's up with these QBs of this season. Who's rolling with FD? Who's rolling with FD? I'm rolling with FD. Woo! Who's rolling with FD? I'm rolling with FD. Talk to him. Hi everyone, it's Monique from Drip and it's Drip time. I want to tell everyone out there about Drip. Drip is a live streaming platform where you can buy sports cards, Pokemon cards, phone calls, or other collectible items at the click of a button from your phone. Use my link here and in the description below to receive 15 bucks off your first purchase of 20 bucks or more anywhere in the app. Remember to use my code on dripshot.live for $15 off your first purchase. And before we start, this is not judgmental at all. This is just a reflection back in time. And I'm going to stick to a sports watching perspective. Not so much just talking about car values. But when you start thinking about what quarterback do I want to even invest in or buy or flip or whatever else. We're going to talk about some time frames here. But what are the skills of the quarterback? I've said in some lives and I've said other places, that guy can't throw an out route. That guy can't throw this route. Some people will ask, well, FD, what do you mean by that? We're going to get into some of that today. But I just want to talk about when you look at a quarterback, what are you looking for? Time frames matter when it comes to cards, but just overall, what is the ability of the quarterback? So this video is not to blame anyone for decisions that they may have made. It's to actually try to help make decisions for future seasons that are coming up when it comes to quarterback play. Because we know quarterbacks drive the league, especially from a car perspective. So first up on FD's list is Zach Wilson. So when you think about Zach Wilson, if you watched him play, what have you seen? I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I've seen. Barrios loops out of the backfield. Rush is coming. Wilson intercepted. Zach Wilson really can't throw the football adequate enough to play in the NFL. His arm strength just isn't there. So when I saw people talking about Zach Wilson at the beginning of the season, I just didn't know what they were talking about. So if your claim to fame is some stuff that you're doing off the field and not on the field, I just don't know what's going on. So again, if you're looking at Zach Wilson, this is, I'm just going to stay at a high level here. He doesn't have an arm to really make NFL throws. He doesn't command the huddle. And if you look at him, when he's in the huddle, he looks petrified. Like he doesn't know what's coming up next. And a key sign to me is when you look at a quarterback, they're going to make mistakes. Can you get over it quickly? Can you control the huddle? And do you look confident? He doesn't have any of that. A lot of people get happy over this next player, but I haven't even seen their body at work to really talk about him a lot. Cal Trask. I used to have a funny saying that I used to say back in the day. is that Cal Trask is trash. I used to say that when he was at Florida, but I'm going to give him a benefit of the doubt. That's me trying to be funny. Maybe you out there. You're a real trash fan. You don't think it's funny. But Cal Trask, we haven't seen a, a lot of his work yet. He's been sitting behind the GOAT, Tom Brady. 
So if Tom moves on, or if Tom moves on to another team, Trask may be able to move into that starting quarterback position. But I always say this as well. I don't know what you are. Leave in the comments. Let me know what you think about everything that I'm putting in this video. When a quarterback leaves a team or, not, or, or moves to another team, it doesn't mean that their card values are going to go up. They may go up in the immediate. You may have one or two weeks to turn these cards if you're flipping. After that, it's going to be based upon the performance of the quarterback. Just ask Mr. Trubisky. He moved from a few teams, ended up with the Pittsburgh Steelers, started the season, did not play well, ended up turning the quarterback one position over to Kenny Pickett. Mr. Trubisky's cards values went down after that. So just know your plays. If you're making a play because a quarterback left one team, went to another. Another one is Russell Wilson. Left the Seahawks, went to the Broncos, has not played well. The quarterback still needs to play well. You could have made a move the first couple of weeks. People are excited. Oh, he's going to a new system. He's going to do this. Make those plays up front. I would recommend do not hold on to those cards just because a player changed their team. It's almost like a falsehood of a hobby to me. But Cal Trask, let's see what he does. To a tongue of a law. Now, when I think of him, I think of the hobby never takes into account injuries when people are talking about card values. Tua is a prime example of injuries, repeated concussions. I just watched the game today. Miami was kind of struggling because the quarterback that they had in there is not really used to his receivers. He doesn't really know what he's doing. You can see some frustration on a lot of the receivers' faces. Waddle and the Cheetah look frustrated all day. So again, in the hobby, these, these are some risks that you have to consider. The quarterback may get hurt. If that quarterback does get hurt, what's the game plan? How severe is the injury? How's it going to impact them? I know no one can predict this, but I guarantee you, probably anybody holding a tool card, they've seen declines in prices of cars. So take that into consideration. That's a part of the risk factor when you start talking about buying early and what is that player going to do. To me, the two people that I really talk about that are young quarterbacks that could be the future of the league, Justin Herbert, Joe Burrow. Herbert has seen two cars sell for over a million dollars during the season. Burrow has had some steady increases in his card value. It's going to be important to see how these caliber of quarterbacks perform in the playoffs and then what do they do in their career going forward. But I believe, personally, if you're asking me, these are the two quarterbacks with the strongest arm. They can make throws that Zach Wilson could never make. They also have the ability to move on from play to play. You don't see them really get rattled. If they throw an interception, if they turn over the ball, they come back on the field ready to go again and next play the next series. And they command the huddle. You can see that their huddles, the people that are on their team, are listening to them when they're on the field and looking to them for direction. I think those are two good players that people may want to consider when it comes to quarterback play and what car values may be in the future. Another person to not forget about is Josh Allen. Josh Allen is playing very well for the Buffalo Bills. He likes to run the ball a lot. Again, we're going to keep this at a very high level. Just talking about how they play on the field. The more that quarterback runs the ball, the more they're opening themselves up to injury. So that's something you got to consider with Josh Allen. He can throw the ball. He has a very big body. And we have seen with Cam Newton in the past, the bigger the body of the quarterback and the more hits they take over time, the shorter their career can be. So let's see if he modifies his game over time. But... Josh Allen, you're running the ball a lot, and collectors out here are nervous. But we talk about how to play the game, can they throw the ball, what decisions do they make, he checks all those boxes. Just like Herbert, just like Burrow, Josh Allen is a strong quarterback. Can he have success in the postseason? We will see soon. Sam Darnold and Mitch Trubisky. These are two guys, if you put them in a bag and you shook it in the bag, bro, either one could fall out. You almost have the same talent level. Sam Darnold looks good on some plays. Other plays, he's throwing the ball to ghosts. You don't know what he's doing. Mitch Trubisky as well. Can have some plays where he looks fabulous. Other plays, he looks like he just started playing football. These are two guys, though, that if you're in a short-term play and you're thinking about flipping cars, moving cars around, definitely if Sam Darnold leaves Carolina, goes someplace else. Again, we talked about that short-term play. So QBs leaving one team and going to another. Same with Mitch Trubisky. That may be a play there. That was a play when Mitch first joined uh, the Steelers that is not in play right now. So just something to think about. But those two players in particular, I think, have potential if you're in the flip game. Kenny Pickett. The only knock I have on Kenny Pickett is that when the ball is snapped, he's staring down the receiver that he's going to throw to.
He's just staring this person down. Now in college, you can get away with that. You can stare a guy down, still throw the ball to a completion. In NFL, that safety is gonna roll and that corner is gonna eyeball what you're doing and jump all over that pass. So if Kenny Pickett can learn to modify his game to be more of a professional kind of game and go through his maturation or rotation of receivers before he throws the ball and doesn't give instant eye contact at the snap, he may do well. He has a stronger arm than Zach Wilson. Mitch Trubisky, some of the other quarterbacks we've talked about on this list today. So we'll see. I, if you asking me, FD, what do you think of Kenny Pickett long term? I see him as an average starter or a backup quarterback long term. But he may be someone that the hobby may respond to in the short term. So look out for him on some flips as well. Deshaun Watson. Anybody that's been following football knows that Deshaun Watson has had a lot going on off the field. It's affected his play. Since he's been back, he's been average at best. Been in 80 yards a game, been in 70 yards a game. That team, because he probably doesn't know the playbook, has not turned the offense over to him. He's playing his role. And that we're going to see how that role grows. They've already committed guaranteed money, record-breaking money to him. So I see him playing more of a role next year. Let's we'll see if he can shake the rust off and actually be the quarterback that he was with the Texans. I got two more quarterbacks for you, though. Two players that I saved to the end that I really want to talk to you about. Jimmy Garoppolo and Derek Carr. Now, I think these two players are probably going to be really talked about when we're starting the season again next year. Where are they going? There's already talk about Jimmy G going to the Raiders, possibly, in the absence of Derek Carr moving on. And then the question becomes, where is Derek Carr going? Can he find success there? He's been a vet. He's seen some success. He's thrown for good yardage. He's thrown for good touchdowns. Doesn't have success in the playoffs. Can he find success like that someplace else? These are the two players. If we go back to the beginning of this video, we talked about flippers, people who are moving cars, or just people who want to move cars out of their PC in order to purchase something else. These are two quarterbacks that I think are going to be talked about at the beginning of the next season, before the season starts, through training camp and preseason, that collectors are going to want and are going to go out and look for and are going to be willing to pay for their cars to be added to their PC. For whatever amount of time they want to add them for. But remember, Jimmy G and Derek Carr, they could win for you. Last but not least, you know I got to say something about Tom Brady. Me personally, I have no insight in this. I didn't call Tom on the phone. Hey Tom, let me talk to you about your future. I didn't call Tom on the phone at all, but I do believe he's not done playing football. But what team is he going to play for? Gonna be with the Bucks, gonna be with the Raiders. Where is he going? I think you might see a little bit of uptick in his car values, but not too much at all. People pretty much know that Tom Brady is the go. Where he's going is Canton, Ohio. The path that takes him to get there. Can he get another run in the playoffs that's deep? Can he win another Super Bowl? Time will tell. But if you go from seven to eight, you're still the GOAT. We won't even talk about Aaron Rodgers. Because nobody really cares about where Aaron Rodgers is going, but Aaron Rodgers. Thank you all for spending time with me to talk about these quarterbacks. You got to ask yourself, are some of these players going to be a bust? Some of them going to be good? Who's going to be great? Hopefully this information is good for you. But leave in the comments. Let me know what you thought about everything I said about each quarterback. Is it real or is it not? Is it information that's good for you? Because I really want to know. Like, subscribe, hit the notifications button. We want to bring you more information, more lives, more content at shows. We're going to live the hobby in 2023, people. We want to roll with you. Peace! Thank <laughs> you.